Hello, this is Daryl at Good Attitude Services 10 Foot Truck. It's a nice day today. Um, it's been fairly uh, sunny. I did a little bit of snow today, but uh, not cold enough to stick. And the sun's pretty much out. It's been in like the mid 40s, which is fairly, fairly nice for this time of year. And uh, of course, we're heading towards the other, uh, other part of the year where things start to warm up in the springtime. I'm looking forward to that because that's when the truck start to get most of its business. It's been a long winter for not a lot of work. I haven't really done anything with the truck. It's been a while. Uh, for this month, I haven't got much going on yet. I've been marketing. Um, the, it's perfect time right now, the weather-wise. I can go out and do work. Uh, I don't have to worry about the ice and snow, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm just waiting. I know the economy's kind of at a slowdown in a sense. Um, because I was doing the, the gig apps, you know, such as Uber, DoorDash, Instacart, Shipt, and all those other type of delivery apps, Roadie, to fill in the time um, doing that, that as an independent contractor. But I've noticed that that's been a big slowdown. I'm not, I'm not sure why it's slowed down, but I'm only guessing that people are like holding on to their money and they're not spending as much. Um, those are luxury type services for like people that <clears throat> want delivery and or buying things online and have it delivered or you know ordering food from the restaurants uh, online that stuff's you know when things start to get a little bit tight on the economy and because of inflation and and uh, other things in the economy people tend to uh hold back on spending money on those things so i could see why they're slowing down plus i think also it could be maybe a lot of people who've lost their jobs or uh who are going into those gig apps to make money uh so there's maybe a flood into that market and uh, oversaturation of drivers. So I know that I noticed that in, in the junk removal uh, business, uh, cause I do both uh, deliveries, furniture deliveries and also do junk removal, but uh, junk removal I, I've noticed has been saturated uh, in my area. There's a lot of companies doing it. And I noticed that one of the apps that I was using to get some jobs uh it's been it used to be you could see jobs there and you could grab them or you could you know get a little bit of time to look at it and grab that job make sure it's something that's going to be worth it now it's like you have to jump on those jobs immediately because there's people grabbing them up faster so that to me shows that their other market which would be their advertising uh they're not gathering up as much work in their own advertising so they're going to these apps and uh you know, to get something. That's, I don't know if that's what's going on, but that's what it seems like it. So I think there's a lot of competition in all types of work. Now, of course, you know, delivering furniture, that's that's something that's gonna slow down too, because, you know, people don't have as much money to go spend on, on uh, things like that. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna mostly be focused on marketing towards people who are gonna be buying their, you know, items on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace um, and that kind of thing where they're buying maybe used discount furniture, uh, something they can afford. Uh, so that market might be okay. Uh, who knows? All I can do is just keep putting up ads and keep trying. But I know there is a slowdown. So another thing I've been doing because of this, I've, I've applied for a bunch of W-2 jobs, uh, putting out my resumes and that kind of thing. To get maybe something part-time, because uh, normally uh, in the last... Uh, I mean, since when I first uh, purchased my truck and was started to do deliveries, I, I really didn't have to do, I didn't have to do anything else. I had pretty much made enough, had enough to, uh, customers, enough, you know, stores that I was going to for customer contracts. I had enough of it to where I didn't have to ever do any side work. It wasn't until probably around uh, 2018, 2019, I started to have to do uh, the gig apps for to subsidize, you know, to have more uh, additional income to help me with my truck. And then when I moved, of course, that's a whole new market, so it made it even harder. So I had to do a lot of that extra gig app work to to make up for the stuff that I wasn't making normally in the, in the years past. So I've noticed the slowdown has been going on for a while, uh, but now it's getting really slow. So uh, I gotta keep, uh, just keep on marketing and, and doing that. And, uh, and uh, of course it's gonna be, you know, you gotta be on uh, top of your, you know, when you're going to a customer's house, you know, you gotta be that extra, you gotta go that extra mile. And I may even have to reduce prices a little bit and get some discounts because to garner that, um, 
that uh, that job, which is gonna you know usually work into other jobs. Um, you say so you really have to be on top of things nowadays. It's very competitive, so and uh, and that's kind of the way it's gonna be for a while, I think. Uh, so I'm just thinking of new ideas and stuff on how to market the truck, and where to go with that, and uh, to add that. And like I said too, if I can get a you know a part-time gig, say in the evening. So where I could do the truck job in the day and then, and then and work in the evening. So I've been putting out, you know, like I said, resumes, applications. And even then, that's very difficult. I haven't heard back from anybody. Uh, in fact, I was denied one job. There was a better candidate for that job. So, and that would have been a good, flexible job that I could get. So I've applied for, uh, like, you know, Walmart and, uh, and Goodwill. All these different places that are part-time that I can just go work, you know, a couple hours, maybe four or five hours at night or something and then have the time of the day so that I'll be able to uh, not worry so much. Because when you're working your own your own business, you know, uh, and it starts to slow down and you don't have uh, a lot of extra money laying around, you know, it can be stressful and, uh, you know, start to, uh, you know, get desperate and, and reduce your prices. And so I've seen people reducing their prices quite a bit. And that, I've done that before and that really doesn't work because then you're ending up burning up your vehicle and, and not making the proper amount of money to cover the cover the cost of your, your maintenance on your vehicle, cover the cost of your uh, having that uh, business. So I don't want to go that, I don't want to have to reduce my prices that much, especially with inflation. I'd like to keep them, you know, where I'm at at a fair price. So uh, I would prefer just maybe having a side job that takes care of, you know, the bills or parts, you know, part of the bills so that I can keep my prices where I need to have them in the truck and just take those jobs. So. But like I said, it's also getting um, getting tough out there for even getting any kind of job. Uh, it's not like it used to be where you could, you know, um, we go apply somewhere and, and you know get a job right away. Now you, you, the people are competing for jobs now. At least in my area, I don't know about other areas, but I think it's it's kind of the same in a lot of different places where um, it's not um, it's not as easy. It's more competitive, and um, so you have to be more on top, more. Uh, presentable and um because i can remember back and you know way back when you could just go into a place and get a job like that you know but it's not like that anymore and they want all kinds of information they want you to take tests and interviews and all this stuff online it's all online now so another thing about online when you're doing online job applications you're sending resumes and, and filling out all this stuff online it's not the same as used to go, going in and talking to people now i did go in for an interview uh last week I actually went into the office and talked to the person uh, in the interview, so that was kind of good. But I didn't end up getting that job. Uh, that was uh, uh, someone else is more qualified. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, so hoping to get this truck back on the road because I'd like to do another video about some of the jobs I'm doing, which hasn't been any since the last time, which I did a video, I think. Um, can't remember what that was. Oh yeah, I moved to Dresser. That was a good job. Uh, so I'm uh, just going to be concentrating on putting those, those ads, putting in applications, and uh, like I said today, I'll be doing some of those gig apps. But those are really, I mean, it's getting to the point where you have to, you only can all go out certain times, and it's uh, it's not really playing out too much. Uh, not like it used. It's nothing like it used to be. So that's not really much of an option at this point for me. Um, looks like it's better just to have some kind of job, like a W-2, and then doing your business on the side, which may be more, uh, you know, better better situation for me. And I'm not a big fan of doing <laughs> doing W-2 work because I've the last time I did a W-2 job, um, what was that? 2013, I think was the last. That was like 10 years ago. Uh, yeah, so ever since 2013, I've been just doing my own self-employed, uh, my own services and doing my own thing and, and being fine with that and doing well and doing well, doing good, good enough for me. I mean, I'm not, not getting rich or anything like that by any means, just making a living basically trying to, to pay, you know, whatever bills I have and, you know, uh, without having to, uh, work for a boss, I'm working for myself. That's the way I like it. I mean, in a sense most of my life I worked for um, 
you know, for a W-2, for a, work for a, a boss, supervisor, manager, company kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, it was fine, but it, I didn't realize until I started to do my own uh, self-employment, my own businesses, and that that was so much better for me, uh, for the way I want to live and, and the way I like to live, uh, having that, that control of my own destiny and uh, making my own money. That that feels so much better for me. So that's why once I started doing that, I was working. It's like I was never going to go back to a W-2. I, I never planned on it. Now it's 10 years later, and things have gotten to the point where I might have to go back for a W-2 type of job. But you got to do what you got to do. So I'm uh, willing to do that. But yeah, I prefer you know being my own uh, boss for sure that's the way i am so anyway um uh, but it just gonna put up a few more ads and you know whatever something will come up i'll let you know if it does hope you have a great day good attitude services 10 foot truck